thousand years later. Hello there you little bacon eaters. Today we take a look at a brand new tier 5 American tank. The T-95E1 is a battle rating 8.0 American medium tank. It weighs 38.5 tons and is powered by a 868 horsepower engine running on the best Tennessee whiskey they had at the time. It can go up to 62 kilometers an hour forwards and only 7 backwards, which is on par with its Russian counterparts such as the T-54 or T-55. Now for the armor, it's surprisingly not shit for a medium tank. And the front plate has an effective thickness of around 260 millimeters, but the lower plate is shit with only 180 millimeters, and the turret is really good, only showing two weak spots the parts around the gun manlet that are 180 millimeters thick, and the fucking gigantic commander cupola. But overall, this armor will be good enough to bounce most APHE rounds, and it may even bounce some badly aimed APDS and cheat FS sometimes. What about the gun? Well. One interesting note is that it's only a 90mm gun, which is really small for that kind of battle rating, especially when you think how Americans compare the size of their guns to other countries. Anyway, the only fucking shell that you should use is the standard T320 armor piercing fin stabilized discarding sabo round, because it has 300mm of penetration. And apart from that shitty HE round, you can't shoot anything else anyway. This round is fucking amazing, and it will go through any tank you will meet, which is nice. The freedom dispenser can be elevated by 20 degrees, and depressed by 10, which is really nice. Talking about gun handling you should also note that the turret can traverse at 29.6 degrees a second, so you can imagine how the crew members inside are having the time of their life trying to stay in their respective seat when this shit is spinning around. <laughs> now, how do you play this tank then? Let me show you. First, you load 35 rounds of your APFSDS rounds, then you tell the fucking job stealing HE to go back to Mexico. After that you go on the battlefield and do what medium tanks do. You go for the cap, try to stay with your teammates. This won't be too hard since you're as mobile as a T-54, but you will remember that you're just an average American when you have to go uphill or as soon as you have to turn, so be careful with that. To play this tank correctly, you try to go hell down and expose your tank as least as possible. You have to be really patient and take your time so you don't do any mistake. The lack of armor against cheat FS combined with the fact that you only have 4 crew members makes this tank quite easy to kill. So don't be a dumbass and don't rush in the open. When you see an enemy, ask if he has some oil, if he does. He probably needs democracy, so dispense one freedom stabilized round in a critical part of his tank. This shit will detonate ammo racks pretty much all the time, so make sure to know your tank anatomy pretty well. After that, pull back and wait for your 9 seconds reload to be over. With this tank you have to have an excellent situational awareness and anticipate any offensive movement from the enemy. Because if they rush you, you will die. Occasionally you can snipe, your gun is accurate enough and you don't lose that much penetration over long distances. Try to be on the sides of the enemy and change position quite often. If you know how to play a T-54, you will know how to play this thing. That brings me on one of the biggest downsides of this tank. It's battle rating. Of course it can be competitive at 8.0, but when you think that it has less penetration and mobility than a leopard, and some armor that is on par with a T-54, I feel like this tank should be a 7.7 .7 battle rating machine. Anyway, let's continue this fucking review. 
One of the points that are really nice with this tank is the repair cost, which is only 3900 silver lions. Combine that with free ammo, and you get one of the only tier 5 machines that can actually make some money. And another one is that for some reason the repair times are just super quick. Once you get fucked by an ATGM from the other side of the planet, go back to the hangar and upgrade your crew, starting by weapon reloading, leadership, targeting, and vitality for everyone. Now for the modifications, you go for the usual shit, parts, horizontal drive, FPE, adjustment of fire, and then go for crew replenishment, after that you can go for anything in the mobility line. Overall, this tank is pretty good, but I feel like it's missing something to be fun to play. While playing, I was always pressing my butt cheeks together, hoping that nothing will penetrate me, because once it does, you're fucking dead. But the mix between mobility, armor, and firepower is pretty good, and I feel like it's better than a T62 in a lot of situations. Now that you know how to play the doom turtle that went to the gym, get out there and spread freedom to those commie fuckers.